Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So I want to release this very urgent and short video to address a very big phenomenon that's happened on YouTube recently, where Meet Kevin, who is one of the biggest finance and stock YouTubers, has decided to sell all his stocks and cryptos, which totaled to around $20 million. But I do have to say that for a lot of the points that Meet Kevin has made as to why he's selling all his stocks all of a sudden, a lot of them I definitely disagree with. I generally think that he's looking at the past instead of studying what the future holds and generally speaking, timing the market is never a good thing. And the reality is that the probabilities are against Kevin if he's really trying to time the bottom of this market for which we've had so much pain over the past year. Now there's two main problems with timing the market. The first is that you gotta nail two important decisions. The first decision is obviously when are you gonna sell all your stocks? And the second decision is when are you gonna buy back into all your investments? And on top of that, you're fighting your inner psychology much more aggressively when you're trying to time the market instead of just buying the dip and dollar cost averaging as your stocks go down. Because historically, the market has always recovered for some of the biggest crashes we've seen over the past couple of decades. We came out of the 2008 recession completely fine, and we obviously came out of the 2020 market crash completely fine, even though at the bottom of March of 2020, people probably thought that the end of the stock market was very close. And right now, the reality is that we're not even in a recession and we're not necessarily seeing the economy struggle that much. The only thing we're seeing is that stock prices have been falling very aggressively, primarily in anticipation of rate hikes. And for me as a fundamental investor, I only sell my stocks when I see a fundamental reason to do so or my thesis might have changed in the company. And right now, there is no fundamental reason for me to sell my stocks because all my companies are doing very good and they're growing at very good rates. And sure, some stocks in my portfolio might be trading at very high valuations, but I'm making sure that as these stocks are coming down, that I'm dollar cost averaging instead of just panic selling and trying to rebuy at the bottom. And 99% of the time, you're never going to nail the very bottom of the market and you're going to miss out on a lot of gains from when the market starts actually recovering. And it looks like the second big reason that Meet Kevin has been selling his stocks is because he expects the earnings season that's coming up over the next few weeks to be a disastrous earnings season for tech stocks. Now, obviously, we saw some projections of that through the Netflix disaster that we had on Thursday after they come out with very, very bad guidance for 2022. But the big thing that he is overlooking is the fact that Netflix is a stay at home stock and stay at home stocks have generally been doing bad for the entire year of 2021. The stay at home drama essentially peaked in the spring of 2021 and it's been reflected pretty clearly through stocks like Zoom and Peloton who've been downtrending very aggressively ever since the February 2021 turn in the market. And after Netflix raised their subscription prices a couple of weeks ago, this bad earnings report should really not be that big of a surprise. And in my honest opinion, technology earnings for the fourth quarter of 2021 should actually do very well because the fall of 2021 was the first holiday season we had since the start of the pandemic where we had full vaccinations available. And it was also the time that we were seeing a record number of retail sales data, which shows that people are actually going out and spending money. And as we've seen with the actions that Jerome Powell and the Federal Reserve have taken over the past couple of years and the sincere flexibility that they have, I just don't see lower consumer spending really reflecting in a stock market crash. And obviously, since the Nasdaq and the S&P 500 have started to rotate, I definitely expect that these guys will take some action to make sure that the stock market does not underperform this year. And all we're seeing right now is that hedge funds are liquidating their stocks in anticipation of rate hikes, which themselves are not supposed to be that high. And at the end of the day, these higher rates are only going to help bring down inflation, which has been the main concern for technology and software stocks over the past year. Now, obviously, this is just my opinion, but it looks like one of my favorite analysts by the name of Dan Ives, who's been investing very heavily in tech stocks, has recently also said that the fear factor that we're seeing in the market right now is very similar to what we saw in the 2018 market crash. And he expects that tech earnings are actually going to be very well as we see the supply chain crisis kind of narrow down. And obviously, high valuation companies will come down as interest rates go up. But in my opinion, a lot of these high value companies have kind of sold off already too much in anticipation. So at the end of the day, there might not be that much downside left in some of these high valuation companies than many people expect. But anyways, guys, make sure to drop me a thumbs up if you found some value from this video. Let me know down in the comment section below your guys' thoughts on what Meet Kevin did and what I discussed in this video. 
And also definitely let me know what you guys think of this informal video style where I kind of give you guys a good breakdown of exactly what's going on in my head. I'll definitely be very interested in hearing your guys' opinions on this entire debacle. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care.